This morning, I went for a quick flick targeting cod from Bisbee River. As you caught, they inhabit a wide range of fishing environment. You can find them in reef area. You can also find them in brackish water,、uh, like in Brisbane River. They are great on the plate. One of the best eating estuary fish going around. Now I I might not know how to catch a mangrove jack or sweaty. I do know a few things on how to catch a Brisbane River cod. Let's check out the video how I got my cod, and、uh, I'll give out some pointers on how to catch a Brisbane River cod. Okay. There's a giant spider. I don't know if you guys can see it. Jesus. Hmm. Let's put on this big prong. Hooks through the second joint. Like so, or you can put on some good old mullet.、Uh, I've caught many cod on mullet, so they are proven to be very effective. Cod has giant mouth, so they can for sure swallow this big piece of mullet, like so. Yeah, that would do. Also, as you can see, I didn't put any sinker. This place is too snaggy, too many rocks, so you don't need to put on a sinker. Plus, I'm only casting along the bank, so、uh, don't need sinker to cast far away. Oh, hmm, what is it? Oh, this one. Um, feels like tiny fish. Probably broom. I took my livey. See, Brimo fights like Brim. Fish with Brim. Oh, it's a catfish! Oh my god! Oh, it's a disgusting catty. Oh, oh, they took liveys too. Oh, I don't want to deal with it. Oh my god, this is my nightmare. This is absolutely nightmare for me. Hmm. Ah, this little bugger, disgusting ass. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, it was a fish. It's a fish. It's a fish. I'm pulling you out. Sure. Oh, Jesus, Jesus! It's our target fish. It's a cod. Finally got my target fish, a beautiful spotted cod. Look at the teeth, huh? Look at the mouth, so giant. <laughs> Literally can swallow a fish. Wow! Look at my line, so ruffled. Ah, <sighs> he's a mullet. Yep, mullet is pretty effective. Oh. Okay, just、oh, okay. Okay, fish, 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 please, 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 just cooperate. The the quicker we get this book out. Oh, okay, you're free. All right. Let's see. Um. Forty, yes, thirty.、Uh, yeah, almost around that thirty-eight mark. The legal size for taking a cod, the minimum size is thirty-eight centimeters. Don't even like it <laughs> eating fish. So, just gonna take a quick picture and release this boy. Yeah. Look at that beauty. Okay, let me just release this boy back to the water. Oh, huh. Alright. Okay. Okay. Huh. 
Okay, he's gone. Bye bye. Oh, that was intense. All right, tip number one look for rocky structure, rock wall, rock bars, because this structure holds lots of cod's favorite food like crabs and bayfish. Cod in Chinese is shi ban yu. Shi means rock. Ban translates to spotted. Yu is fish. So spotted fish that lives in the rock. That sums up where you can find cod. Look for rocky structures. Tip number two, rig setup. So my rig setup for cod is quite simple. Um, this fish has a giant mouth full of razor sharp teeth. So heavy monoline is essential. I reckon at least 20 pound leader line and big hooks. Again, they have a quite large mouth. So uh, you definitely want to use big hooks. Also, no sinker. I don't put on sinker when cod fishing. Firstly, because you don't need to cast far away for cod. I always chuck them um, like two or three meter away from the bank. You literally don't need a sinker for it. Another thing is that I've heard live bait always outproduce dead bait. But if you can get your hands on some levees without a sinker, your bait can really flow around and one stupid come, my sink is alive and took it. Well, that's my theory. So yeah, no sinker, giant hook, straight to the leader line. You can use any rod. Depends on how uh, big the fish you're targeting. I normally just take this one. I got it from Kmart. It's a Java's worker uh, rod. Tip number three, how to land them. Now that's the tricky part. As I mentioned, they have a large mouth. They're not gonna nibble your bait like bream or catfish. They will swallow it in one go and be back into their rock hole before you even know it. Very subtle swallow. If you don't pay attention to your rod, you can't even feel anything. Very often, you thought nothing's biting your bait, but when you want up, you stuck. Um, every time I go car fishing, five out of ten, I can't even get it out because it's super snagged and super stuck. Once hooked, they will try get back to in their hole and never came out. So, so definitely you want to keep eye on your rod. Once that'll move, check it. Might be a big cod. If you found your line is stuck with a cod at the end of line, and you just can't pull it out, can't drag it out. There, you, you have two options. First one, you wait a bit and see if it will come out. Which in my case, I never did that. I'm so impatient. I always just cut it. Or, like in my video, use your full strength to pull it. If you're lucky, if it's a small card, not a giant one, you might get it out. That's how I did it in my video. So, but if it's a big cut or it's just super stuck, just cut it. Yeah. All right. That's uh, some of my tips for you. And hopefully you can catch a cut. See you next time.